Debris scatters all over the floor. It's among the piles of charred beams and damaged stones that investigators are attempting to find out just how the blaze broke out inside Notre Dame Cathedral. So far, they're pointing the blame at an electricity fault. A lift had been set up on the building site to reach the highest parts of the scaffolding, in a similar way to the one used to renovate Reims Cathedral. But according to the site's manager, an electricity fault is not to blame. We did indeed have a power supply on site, but the lift was set up seven to eight meters away from the cathedral, and the power supply was checked by a certified inspector. So we followed all of the safety standards and procedures. The workers say that no electrical equipment was used on Monday. They also claim to have followed security guidelines when leaving the site by switching off the electricity and giving the key to the power supply into security. Analyzing the differences among the remains of the cathedral will be key to finding clues. Some areas were burnt to ashes, while others were spared. Important indications, according to this specialist. This was completely destroyed, but this area is significantly lighter. And if you look carefully here, you can see there's barely any wood remaining, so this could be an area where the fire was hotter, where it all started. A challenging task that lies ahead to determine just what caused the blaze that devastated the cathedral.